Welcome back. Before we determine the properties of transfer function, we want, I want to first introduce the concept of steady state gain. The steady state gain is defined as the ratio of the output variable chain to a sustained input variable chain, which is a step chain. Therefore, it is sustained at a new steady state. Mathematically, it is defined as k equals to steady state change in output divided by the steady state change in the input. So if we graph it, we have u at the bottom, which is the input, and y at the top, which is the output. On the axis t, initially, the input is at u of 1 because it is initially at steady state of one state and upon time equals to zero it gives rise to a step change to u2 this is the magnitude u2 minus states this is the bottom expression and the top initially y is also at steady this is y1 steady state and upon change of that, it might have some sort of response. But as time goes to infinity, it approaches new steady state 2. And the height difference between these two, y2, r minus 1 bar. And we take the ratio between this thing and this thing. So that means we can quantify how much output changes upon a unit input change. So the output change is normalized. It is normalized by input change, amount of input. And the state in gain k is a constant for linear process. But it might not be linear, but it may not be a constant for non-linear process. How do we determine the state state gain? Here I prove that the state state gain can be evaluated from g of s by setting g of s equals to zero. So we will have k equals to g when s equals to. To prove that, we start with the definition of the gain y2, the output change, minus the. Notice that x1 and x2 are constants. They are predetermined. And y1 is also constant, is already at steady state. But y2 is constant only when time goes to infinity. So if we want to write it in terms of deviation variable, then the deviation for x, x prime is constant. The deviation for y can only be a constant on the limit as t goes to infinity. Because then x the uh, y two bar can be constant, and if we use the final value theorem, as t goes to infinity, it's equal to the limit as x goes to zero of s multiplied by Laplace trend. Now we want to determine big Y prime of S. To do that, we can invoke definition of gain. Gain is defined as the output divided by the input in the Laplace space. And here we want deviation variable. So that we have Y of S equals to G of S X prime of S. Substitute that in. Limit as s goes to zero of s multiplied by g of s x. Now, what is big x prime of s? We know that the change in input in the t domain is x two minus x one which is our definition here. And then 
take the its Laplace transform, we have because this is constant, the Laplace transform of constant is constant divided by s. And substitute that in. We have s p of s x two typo here. This should be x one minus x one bars divided by s divided by. So s can be cancelled out, and x two minus x one is the definition of deviation x that also cancels out. we're left with is limit of s goes to zero d of s so that means it is we have proved that k equals d of zero if the gain exists let's do a quick example before we conclude this section so determine the state state given a transfer function g of s where everything is a constant except for s. So the state is saying k, in k equal to the transfer function g evaluated at s equals to 0. It equals to w1 divided by rho v0 plus w. That equals to w1 divided by w. So that is the state state gain. In this video, we define state state gain and look at how it can quantify how much the output changes upon a unit input chain.